living in the county, you've done this a few times, but your, what's your history with the Olympics? Well, you know, I, I, it's kind of twofold. I, I was uh, in the uh, participant in the uh, 1980 uh, bobsled trials. Uh, unfortunately, the final days, uh, the final days, I uh, ended up in a serious accident up in the hospital. And then after that, I was, uh, we were notified that we were going to be a host community here for the uh, Olympic torch relay team. And with that, I was uh, appointed. Uh, coordinator to see see this through so we actually uh, weren't sure we were going to be host community but we knew the torch was coming through so we were preparing for that and then we were notified that the torch was going to be here and overnight so we ended up uh, trying to make plans uh, for ceremonial things and housing and all the rest we did have a welcoming ceremony in front of City Hall uh, the Elks Club was very gracious in hosting a dinner and a social over there and then uh, St. Joseph's uh, in uh, Valencia was very kind in uh, providing uh, overnight uh, uh, accommodations for us. And the next day they came back and, and we saw them off to uh, head back to uh, Lake Placid. Emotionally, what does this mean to you? It means a lot. You know, I, 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 having the torch come here and, and, uh, and, and being part of, of the uh, uh, maybe a small part of the Olympics there and having uh, participated in bobsledding for years after uh, and, and just uh, this for the city was very I think was you know it, it was we were fortunate I mean and not everybody had that opportunity and, and we we grasped it we ran with it and uh, and we had a uh, you know we had a good time with it and uh, we did our job and shortly after uh, the the Olympic uh, torch run was over and we accommodated about 100 plus uh, uh, athletes and, and their runners and their support staff. The Kiwanis Club came forth and, and they asked the city if they could put up a memorial here, kind of not a memorial, but uh, this gazebo and uh, cauldron to, uh, to kind of remember the moment. And uh, so they gave permission. Uh, Mr. Tom Coolis kind of spearheaded the effort and we ended up uh, with what we have here today. And, and every uh, Olympics, uh, we, we light the torch in, uh, in, in memory of that, that moment that we had uh, back in 1980. People should be pretty proud of this. I would hope so. I would hope so. You know, it was a special moment. It's not something that everybody was able to endure uh, or, or to enjoy. You know, a lot of the cities along the way were able to have the, the torch come through, but we were fortunate enough to have them for an overnight stay which uh, spoke volumes. I mean, it, it, it was a special moment, and I think the city definitely hung their hat on it and, and was still proud to this day. The weather today, is bobsled weather or worse or what? It's probably worse than I've ever seen up in Placid. I don't think I've ever, and when I was in Europe too, I, I don't remember once maybe that it was qu quite this bad, but th this, is, this is definitely, well, it's definitely winter weather, and it's it's a little more than we need in bobsledding. Actually, we got enough ice up there as it goes.
I've been here, we try to uh, honor the Olympic Games and what the Olympics represent by uh, by relating. Do you have any recollection of that, of a personal level? Recollection of the 